Write in the mail, MS sex games from Japan. Collecting without fail, those shoot 'em ups, and that's the plan. He doesn't just collect them, he also codes them too. Join us and we'll go on electric adventures with you. Hey YouTube, Electric Adventures here with a little package in the mail from Japan. Very light, as you can see. Um, it's the uh, basically the tail of the stuff that popped up from uh, the Japanese auction house that came back again. Um, and they actually had some MSX items again. Um, so you've already seen a couple of those in you know, the videos I've put up lately. I believe there's one more MSX item in here, and plus an SG1000 uh, game as well. I've got the right package. So open that thing up. Oh, oh and an accessory as well. Um, just to round out my, and this is like under a dollar, round out my Nintendo 64 Japanese collection, we have a boxed um, memory card for the Nintendo 64 so I'm just getting I think I've got most of the accessories now in box form in their Japan form right and next we go on to an MSX title now it's not boxed but it actually does have its manual um, there have been some other MSX items but they ended up going for too much money The manual. But this is a title I have. Wonder what MSX version is like. Oops. Sorry, they've done a very good job at wrapping this up. Be careful because obviously we've got the manual. Okay, so we have the Microsoft MSX. It is the MSX version of Qbert. So it's another Konami cartridge that I didn't have. And the manual looks in really good condition. So I may have to um, to keep the manual in good nick and with the cartridge. Um, see if I can find a case so I can put this in. Now to open this nicely. Damage the man. Right, so there's the cartridge. If you want a closer look at that. So I don't. Th I have never played this at all. Um, I believe it might be on that Konami multi cart. I purposely haven't tried it because I'm you know, saving it for when I got my own copy one day. Uh, and I'm happy to have a loose copy and as a bonus, this manual's in really, really good condition. So it's got some slight different characterization to it than you would expect for normal Qbert. So I'm not 100% sure whether it's going to be like Arcade Qbert or not. I think we're going to have a slightly different main character. But the manual looks very cool. Lots of different information there. Obviously, all in kanji, but I'm just showing that because it's in such good condition. Alright, so uh, one more item in the box, and it is a boxed SG1000 title. So I do have this one loose, so this is an upgrade. Um, and once again, oops, along for the ride. <clears throat> and it also wasn't very expensive, so the most expensive thing in this delivery was the, potis, was the postage. And it is a nice big box version of, so it would be an original release, of Champion Tennis. So it's not quite the same as uh, the, like the Konami Tennis for the MSXs. Um, and I haven't played this one for ages. It's got the, the characters are fairly um, 
no, rudimentary or simple. Let's take that sticker off, but the box is in really good condition. And these are little gatefold things like this. So it opens up, and you have the instruction card there, and the cartridge there. And the cartridge will be in its very plain original format, so no graphics on the cartridge. The later ones that are in the smaller boxes have the more colourful ones. It's a little bit of a rattler, but that shouldn't be a problem. As you can see, it's got very little address lines in the cartridge on, so it's not a big cartridge. Manual looks in really good condition. These manuals are usually very, very simple. Just showing you basic controls. There is another page, it's just, oh I see, it's, it folds out. So, that's basically all you have. But I seriously doubt where I've, I've done a gameplay of this one before, so we'll definitely um, plug it in and give it a go. So, without further ado, let's go try out these two new games. Right, so here we go with Champion Tennis. Actually got a demo mode, which is um, unusual in itself, using the SG1000 controller. Intro music. So obviously the characters are very um, basic, but they're shadows. Okay. So single button serve. Whoops. Oh. This one's um, got a bit more to it than. Oh, I'm giving my game away at the moment. Oh. I'm being trounced by the computer. Fast. Oh, it's got an auto hit too, by the looks of it. This is not a bad, you know, the computer isn't playing too impossibly hard. Oh, I haven't actually tried using the other button yet to see whether that does backhand. sure how you do the timing of the um, serving. I'm hitting the net a lot though. Oops, fold. Oh! What 
it's not a too bad game of tennis, so I would have been reasonably pleased with this back in the day, I reckon. Just doesn't have as much character as the MSX Konami tennis. work out, you know, how you control your um your shot a bit more. No. Not good. Because I was gonna get nowhere near that. As we'll just finish this game up. Definitely gotta watch your momentum. where you hit it in its bounce. That was lucky. No, ah oh dear. So you don't seem to have as much control over sure how you angle the ball back towards the other side and it's game again all right so it's actually it's not a bad you've yeah, got auto it's got auto hit it's interesting um not a bad little tennis game all right let's get the msx out and try cubert all right so here we go with cubert and i think this might actually rather than being the original cubert arcade game but the one that was called Cubert Cubes, I think. It's got a nice little intro sequence there. Uh, definitely level one. Some great music. number of cubes I'm guessing. Okay, so this is a little different from normal cuba thing. I I'm, I'm, don't think I'm doing myself any favours at all using this joystick because you have to move on the diagonal. Oh I see, the diagram on the right shows you which way you have to flip them. Done online. Maybe that's all we need to do is do a line of boxes in. Okay, I can do that. Well, it's definitely a different take on the Cubert principles. So they all need to go up. Quite character then. Um, nice. 
think the character I just got just froze. Everybody on screen. So the ghosts are definitely after me. very hard to get this to go the direction you want when you're using an arcade joystick. So I've done all the ones in the corners. I mean, unless I commit suicide like that. Hmm. Oh, we'll continue. Did I miss it? Hmm. It's well, it's it's not a too bad game. green ones when I land on them. See, it's a lot more complicated now. You've got different uh, coloured... It's going to be invincible, thank God. favours at all trying to do this with this joystick. But this is quite a different game. play this level until I've had a lot a bit more practice. But as you can see it's quite a different game than the original Cubit and it's fairly obvious that I haven't played it before. Um, but that's actually quite an interesting uh, little game. I'll be definitely practicing and playing that a little bit some more. And a wonderful addition to my MSX collection and a nice upgrade for my um, SG-1000 collection. Which I don't have very many games to go before I finish that collection as well. Alright, I'm Elitude Adventures, thanks to all my subscribers, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later.